everyone, welcome back to my channel. We are somewhere new. If you regularly watch my videos, you will see that I am in a new place. Well, maybe you'll be able to tell because actually right now this looks very similar to how my old setup was, but that is neither here nor there because I have some big news. We bought a house. This is our first house, our first home purchase, and we are so, so, so excited. Oh, I feel so surreal. I feel so surreal to be here, honestly. I'm sitting in my bedroom, as you will see. Well, my baby boy is here playing. As you can tell, there's absolute chaos all around because we are still in the process of unpacking. We moved in on Monday, got everything in here on Monday, and it is now Saturday. So we have a 14 month old baby boy and he is very mobile now. He's walking around. He's currently trying to walk underneath my tripod. <laughs> So unpacking is definitely taking a little bit of time because we have to keep one eye on him at all times. Huh? Yeah. Are you telling him? Are you telling him about the house? So the unpacking is a little bit of a journey, but I am trying to focus on the big things first. So I'm trying to focus on getting the kitchen done and our bedroom and like our clothes and everything like that done. I would say I'm probably halfway there with both of those but it's fine. We will get there when we get there. I am just so excited to be here. I'm so excited to take you guys with me as we start to decorate, start to renovate a little bit. Not renovate, really. Not yet. God, not yet. But we will be changing the paint colors. As you will see in this video, as I'm like bebopping around in the house, you will see that there are some brightly colored walls, which inherently I'm not like against, but the colors of the walls here are not my jam. They're not my favorite. So like our kitchen is a very intense shade of yellow. We will be changing that. The downstairs half bathroom and then the guest full bathroom upstairs are both a very intense goldenrod yellow shade, which I actually despise. No offense if you like that, but like it is just not my thing. So we will be painting both of those bathrooms. We have a bonus room that is an interesting shade of green, which also will be painted. And then I would like to paint our primary bathroom as well but that is like way down the line honestly the bonus room is probably also way down the line because the yellows are my top priority so the kitchen and those two bathrooms will be painting in the next probably two months we're honestly not trying to rush anything i feel like that's always what i hear from people like when you buy a house especially your first house you should really take time to get settled live in it for a little bit before you start deciding how you want to change things because obviously it's so tempting to just do everything right now. Like you have no idea how bad I just want to like paint and buy things and get things in here, but I'm going to take my time. I'm going to chill out a little bit and I'm definitely going to be making videos of that journey. They're not obviously going to be weekly because this is going to be a long-term project. So I'll be putting up sporadic videos of our home journey. Um, I'm really excited to share how I'm going to decorate and how we're going to change things up. Hi baby. <laughs> Hi baby. Um, and how we're going to spice this place up, bring our personalities into it, if you will. So I think in today's video, I'm just sharing kind of a day in the life. Um, I've just been bebopping around. Somehow it is already two o'clock and we're gonna go out and about a little bit, get a coffee. And I did go to Home Goods. I went to Home Goods and did a small amount of damage. So I do wanna share with you guys what I got at Home Goods, just some fun little pieces that I got there. So a little Home Goods haul. There are some things we're going to need right off the bat, like a dresser, a nice dresser for our bedroom, for example. At our apartment, we had a decent amount of space, but we did not have like an actual full like dresser. We just kind of had some shelving and cabinets in our closet. The thing is, is that our closet here in the house in the primary bedroom is quite a bit smaller than the closet was in our apartment. So we definitely need a dresser. We need like a nice big dresser. So if you have any recommendations on where to get a dresser, please let me know in the comments. But we can have a sit down in a little bit and we can chit chat and I'll show you what I got at Home Goods. And I also will go over like my list of things that I wanna get. Oh, I'm just so excited. I'm so excited to show you guys. I mean, I wish that I could show you like the full details of everything, but obviously for safety and privacy reasons, I'm not going to do that. But oh, I wish that I could just like do like a full MTV Cribs, like show you the outside, show you like every single room in detail. But 
as this journey goes on and we make changes and update some things, I definitely will be sharing that with you guys and I'm so, so excited. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so below, especially if you're interested in seeing the upcoming home decor content. I do a mixture of lifestyle, uh, travel videos, haven't traveled in a while because I have a baby, but we're hoping to get back to that. So yeah, if you would like to subscribe, please do so. I also have an upcoming newsletter. I'll link that below if you want to sign up and yeah. Let's get on with this video. I really want to go get a coffee. So let's do that. I was trying to set up a little cute area to film this video and I realized that I don't have any cute places yet because there is stuff everywhere. Like if I was to show you what's behind the camera, there are just boxes and bins and behind me, obviously like nothing is set up on my desk. There's just a lot happening. So nothing is cute about this, but we are going to do a haul of some cute stuff because I have some stuff to show you that I got at World Market and at Home Goods. And I'm really excited about it because these are like the first things I've bought for our house since we moved in. I'm so excited. So I'm sitting here, I'm in our bonus room. I don't know if this is like a Southern thing. I'm not sure because I feel like this isn't a thing in the Midwest or the North where I've lived previously, but I have noticed that it's a thing in North Carolina, at least where there is a bonus room in a house. And I feel like anywhere else you just would call it an additional bedroom, but it is a bonus room. And that is how they talk about it here, that this is the bonus room. So that is what I'm sitting in. I think that the idea of it is that it could be an office, an additional bedroom, a playroom if you have kids, an additional like hangout space. So I totally get like the idea of the bonus room. I just had never really heard of that before we moved down here and started looking at houses. So I am sitting in the bonus room. It is a pretty big space. I think what we're going to be using this for now is half Barish and I's like office desk setup. My desk is behind me, Barish's desk is over here. And so we're gonna get those set up so that we both have our little like desk spaces. And then I think we're gonna use the other half of the room, probably just as like a little hangout space for now. I think I'm gonna set up my keyboard, maybe get some shelving for some like craft type stuff, some games. I don't know, I kind of like the idea for now of this space being Barish and I's space especially because as Kai gets older, if we have another baby, as kids get older, I feel like this will turn into a hangout space for them, which is great. So I feel like it'd be fun for now for this to be Barish and I's little like hobby room, if you will. So that is tentatively what we're gonna set this room up as. We will be painting it. This paint, absolutely not, absolutely not. Again, if you like it, that's fine, no judgment. It's just not my taste, so. I cannot wait to paint this room. I don't think this is like the top priority by any means, but it will get painted eventually. So I feel like that's like such a big lesson in buying a house is like, unless you're like literally loaded and made of money, like you're doing everything very slowly. But I also think that's the smart way to do it. I think it's smart to get in and get settled and live in the house for a little bit before you start to make a bunch of changes, before you buy a ton of furniture. Um, there are so many furniture pieces that I want to buy, but I feel like we have so many things to get set up and settled into before we reach that point. So all that to say, let's look at the stuff I have bought because I'm very excited about it. Um, as a random side note, I don't know if any of you have heard of this brand of kombucha, but I just have to tell you about it because if you like kombucha, I'm obsessed with this. It is the brand Cove, so Cove Kombucha. 
I had never heard of this before in my life until I went to Costco like a week or two ago and I saw them there. Normally we get the kombucha in the glass bottles, like the Hum brand I think is usually what we get at Costco. They also have the Dr. Brew, I wanna say is another brand they have at Costco, but there's one of the flavors in there that like Barsh and I both really don't like, so we don't really get that brand anymore. But when I saw this brand, I was very intrigued because I had never heard of it before and the flavor sounded really good. So I got them to try, you guys. They are literally incredible. This is the flavor Raspberry Lemonade, and I think this might be my favorite in the box, but honestly, every flavor is Fire Flames, and I highly recommend getting them to try if you see them at your Costco, because I'm obsessed with them. We've bought like four more packs. And I also say this as somebody who isn't like obsessed with kombucha, like I'm not like a huge kombucha girl, but I do think that I like this as a fun evening drink because I don't really drink alcohol much now. Obviously I was pregnant and then had a baby. I just feel like since having a baby, I have really not gotten the taste for alcohol back. I was not a big drinker to begin with, but I feel like now I almost never drink. So the random nights where I decide I wanna have a fun little something, I feel like a kombucha is like the perfect thing because it's fun and exciting, but I don't feel anything. <laughs> okay, anyway, I've been jabbering on here for like seven minutes, so let's get into the haul. Let's start with my World Market stuff. So we actually popped into World Market today and there was a couple things I was looking for, the main one being a rug for our entryway. So we have a little entryway space when you first walk into our house. It's like a little entryway. The living room is to the left, our dining room is to the right, and then there's like a closet and like an open space right in front of you when you walk in through the door. So I kind of have a vision for that space. I knew that I wanted to get a rug for the entryway. I did look at home goods. They didn't really have anything that was uh, speaking to me. So I wanted to check World Market. And my vision for this is that I want to have like a cute little rug and then I want to have a little like cabinet, little table type thing to the left of the door with some little like flowers and whatnot on top. So it's a cute little moment when you walk in the door. So we ended up getting this rug for the entryway. So <laughs> I'm just gonna, this is what it looks like. So it's 2.2 feet by 3.7 feet. So this actually works out really well for what we were wanting. The rug we're gonna have in the living room is kind of a burgundy toned rug. It's actually a rug from Turkey that Barsh's parents brought for us, which was so nice of them. I am so excited to put it in the living room. I hope that we can do that tomorrow. But anyway, I'm really excited. And I feel like this is subtle enough that this is not gonna clash with that rug. At least that is my hope, so. This is the rug I got from World Market. The other thing I got from World Market was absolutely not on my list, but I saw it and I was like, I need it. It's a candle. I'm such a sucker for a candle, but look how pretty it is. It's like a little woodland winter scene. Look how cute. It is literally so pretty. The scent is fairy tale forest. It has notes of pine trees, white birch leaves, and soft sandalwood. Ugh, it smells so good. So I cannot wait to bust this out probably closer to Thanksgiving because I need to get all my fall stuff popping, but then this will probably be more of like a winter Christmas type candle, but it is so pretty. I love it. So we have that. So those are the only two things that I got at World Market. Like literally that was it. A lot of the things I got at Home Goods were more of like, I mean, I think they're needs. So just saying. I'll start with the thing that was more of a want though, because I saw these at the checkout because they know how to get me. I saw these precious Halloween Hello Kitty bowls. You guys, are you kidding? Look at how cute they are. So this was definitely not a need. This was purely a want, but I thought that these were so cute. I actually think they're for pets. Like I think that they're little like dishes for your cat, um, but I will be using them for little sweet treats for Barish and I, so. Kai, not yet. One day Kai can use this, but if I gave this to Kai right now, he would absolutely throw it on the floor. So the glass is not for him. <laughs> the next thing that I got at Home Goods is this little sink duo. So it is a double-sided soap dispenser. One side is for dish soap, one side is for hand soap. And then it actually comes with a sponge, but I like this because it has a little section here that will hold your sponge for you. Right now we have like two separate dispensers for soap and our sponge just like sits there on the sink and I just do not like that. I want it to look nice. So I got this bad boy. Hopefully this will work well for what I'm looking for it to do. Continuing the theme of soap dispensers, honestly half of the stuff I got at Home Goods was soap dispensers. I'm gonna be completely honest. 
but it's because right now we just have like random, truly random like plastic soap dispensers that just don't look very nice. I don't want to be buying like individual soap containers anymore. Like I'm not really buying those from Bath and Body Works or anywhere else anymore. I would like to get a giant industrial size of hand soap and put it in our own dispensers. So that is what I'm doing. And a big part of this is if you have watched my channel before, I like randomly get eczema on my hands. I have had it ever since I... I've had eczema since a baby, but I've been getting this eczema on my hands since I had Kai. So I don't know what that is, probably because I'm washing my hands constantly, but I need to use very neutral, unscented soap. So like not anything fun, which is why I'm no longer getting it from Bath and Body Works, which is sad because it's so fun. So to make it fun, we're gonna get our own cute little soap dispenser. So this is the one I have for our downstairs powder room. It's just a little half bathroom off the kitchen. That is a room that needs to be painted. So I wanted to go with something very neutral for that. I thought this like crystally gold one is very neutral. And also I feel like fits the vision that I have for that bathroom for when it's completed, whenever that will happen. So that one is for that. I've kind of decided that for Barish and I's bathroom, which is attached to our bedroom, it's just going to be a theme of whatever sparks my joy. So I have a bath mat for it that has, it's white with big red strawberries on it. I just thought it was so cute and it does not match the current bathroom at all, but you know, it matches the vision of what I'm thinking of. And when I saw this soap dispenser at Home Goods, I was like, yeah, I need to get that for our bathroom. It's not really showing up on camera but it is one of those colors that kind of flips in the light. So it looks kind of like a plain crystal color with a slight purple tint, but in the light, it kind of looks like a mermaid, if you will. So that's why I got it because it sparks joy. And I just decided we're gonna have a super fun bathroom. I don't know why I've decided that that's the room that's gonna be super fun, but I'm sure other rooms will be fun too. But for now, it's gonna be the bathroom. I don't know, you guys. But anyway, I loved this, so I got that for our bathroom. The final soap dispenser that I got is one for Kai's bathroom, which is also gonna be our guest bathroom. And it's very simple, just like this pretty blue, kind of bubbly dispenser with a gold top. Kai's bathroom, I'm doing a shark theme. So I already have a shark mat and everything for it, which I will show you when the room is done, but this goes nicely with it. So that is why I picked this one. Moving on from the soap dispensers. I have been needing one of these things for an obscenely long amount of time and I don't know why I never bought one. It's like, hello, Christy, just go get one. But I finally did. It's a little spoon holder or a utensil holder. So you know when you're cooking and you have like the spoon you're stirring your food with as you're cooking and you are like, where do I put this spoon? Because it's gonna get my counter dirty. Boom. That is the sole purpose of this thing. And I've wanted one for so long and this was $4.99 at Home Goods. And look at how cute it is. It has daisies on it. Isn't that so cute? So now I finally have somewhere to rest my spoon. Last but not least, I got a couple wooden items and I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep these. I think that I will, I probably will, let's be honest, but I thought these were really pretty. So one thing I was looking for was a nice bowl to put our fruit in on the counter, like the fruit that you leave on the counter to ripen, you know? So I wanted something that looked nice. So I think that this will work well, but I do wanna put it on the counter and see how I feel about it. But it is this beautiful wooden bowl. And I just thought that this was so pretty. So I got this as to use as our fruit bowl, but again, I'm gonna put it out downstairs and see how I feel about it. And then the other thing that I found in the same area, which the reason I'm not sure about this is that I feel like I don't necessarily have a purpose for it right now, but I could see this looking so pretty on a coffee table. And we do need to get a coffee table at some point, but it is just a little wood platter and I love it because it's a wavy edge. I just think it looks like a flower. Like how cute is that? I'm probably gonna keep this too, let's be honest. That is it for my little Home Goods World Market haul. There is so much more to come, you guys. I am so excited. I cannot believe that we bought a house. Like this feels so surreal, but I am so excited and I am so excited to bring you guys along with me as I decorate and paint and get us settled in. Like I said earlier, these videos that are gonna be about like the house and decorating and whatnot are definitely going to come over time because it's gonna take time to get everything looking the way that I want, but I'm really excited to show you guys everything. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so below. Please like this video. Please comment below. Please comment below and tell me where you like to buy your home decor, where you like to buy your furniture. Your girl like is clueless about this. Oh, I'm so excited. As always, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.